everyone. I'm Soho Sakai. I'm teaching Sogetsu School Ikebana since 1974, almost 50 years. I'm be on behalf of OFAD, Organization of Floral Arts Designers. They have August seminar, Northern California, San Francisco. I have done myself presentation and a workshop. They are planning a very exciting program. Be sure to go to the OFAD website, OFAD.design. Okay, I'd like to show you one of the sample for Sogetsu, Sogetsu Ikebana. Uh, Sogetsu Suku Ikebana's motto is anybody can do it anywhere using any material. So that's a Sogetsu motto. That means that you, know, we, you don't have a no limit. Well, you can do it any way you like. Uh, but uh, you know, we have uh, most three important elements, line, mass, and color. That's a ikeba, Sogetsu Ikebana. So you have to really understand how to combine the line, mass, and colors. Uh, depend on where, when, how, how, you know. So uh, depend on situations. You have to pick the material, depend on what you are doing. Right? Other than that, you know, you have 100% freedom. We don't have any rules. So you can do anytime, anywhere, any material you use. My demonstration today, I'd like to show you one of the freestyle contemporary design emphasizing a line, mass, and colors. Material I'm using is a brush. This is a brush. Uh, this material is from my garden, but they break easy. Well, they just break easy, so you don't want to use it because they break easy. But you have to think about it to help them. You have to help the material sometimes. Material is easy to bend. You know, we have a wire. We have a wire to use it. So I just cut the size I need. So I cut the desired size. Then I press table top like this. Then I use wires, stick through wires. Then comes like this. Isn't it fun? So original materials like this, but I change like this, right? It's fun to do that. So this is the tallest one. I want to place that. Which one's better? Okay, this was a prettier. Okay, so put this one. Then this is the Uiko Suiban. Uh, designed by Sofu Teshinghara, founder of Songetsu School, Uiko Yatsuhashi. This is even special Uiko Yatsuhashi. Then I'm using a Kenzan. Then specially, uh, you know, I spray the black. If I spray the black, you don't see mechanic. Easy to hide it. So this is, uh, you know, then Songetsu School, you know, we call the uh, Shin Soe Hikai, you know, foundation to start a Ikebana. So this is my Shin. Different way to do shin. Then this is my soy. Okay, so this is good. This is my soy, right? Usually three quarters of shin. Then this is my hikai. So this is my foundation. Foundations. Like this. Put a little bit more back size. Create a little de depth. Then I like to be this part straight, very clean straight line. Okay? This is a straight? Okay. Then this is a mass. Actually, this is a mass. Then I create a three main branch in so Then I have a beautiful ivy. Ivies I found in my garden, so I like to use this one. Peaking right, okay. This is adding lines. I have another one, some place. Hmm. 
Stark. Oops. Oh, oh. Excuse me. These lines are too curvy. Listen to me good. Go front. Go front. Yeah. Yeah, this way. Hmm. Please stay. Listen to me. Face up. Okay, then I have another one. Maybe create more dimensions here. Now, mass and color, no, mass and lines. I liked other colors. I found a beautiful bird of paradise. Okay, this one go here. Show the legs. Straight. Then, I think, short one. Taking from here, maybe this way is better. Maybe this way is better. Okay. Oh, this is a good one. I'm designing a backward, so sometimes I don't see front, but uh, you know, I try. I try the best I can. Then maybe I could put another one. Grouping three flowers. Nice color, back green background. Then I think this is it. So this is a freestyle Songetsu Suku Ikebana. I combined line, mass and colors. I hope you like it. Thank you for watching my demonstration.